Hello viewers. Ophthalmic prisms are solid, three-dimensional, triangular, transparent objects that consist of two refracting surfaces that meet at an apex. They have no refracting power but deviate light rays that pass through them. They are best described in terms of their power which is in prism diopters denoted by the upper case Greek letter delta. One prism diopter produces a displacement of one centimeter of the image of an object that is one meter away. The power is a function of the apical angle but also varies with the refractive index of the prism and its angular position with respect to the incoming light rays. Now let's see what happens when prisms are placed in front of the eyes of an observer with normal binocular cooperation. Since light rays entering a prism are deviated towards the base, the image is seen displaced towards the apex of the prism and the eye examined also tends to deviate towards the apex. Why does this happen? Normally light rays from an object fall on the foveae of both eyes producing binocular single vision. When a prism is placed in front of one eye, the rays instead of falling on the fovea are deviated towards the base and fall on an extra foveal point thus giving rise to diplopia. In order to restore binocular vision, the eye under the prism deviates such that the light rays fall on the fovea. The orientation of a prism is always denoted by the direction of its base with respect to the eye in front of which it is placed. So this is a base out prism, this is a base in prism, this is base out, this is base in, this is base up and this is base down. Even regular spectacle lenses can have a prismatic effect when viewed through any point other than the optical center, the amount of which can be determined by the Prentice's rule which can be remembered easily by the equation PD is equal to PD. So the prismatic effect at any point on the surface of a lens in prism diopters is equal to the power of the lens in diopters multiplied by the distance of the point from the optical center in centimeters. Prisms are made of either glass or plastic. There are three ways in which a prism can be held. Glass prisms are calibrated to be held in the prentice position that is perpendicular to the visual axis. Practically this can be achieved by holding the prism parallel to the plane of the iris. Plastic or acrylic lenses are calibrated to be held in the minimum deviation position that is when the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of refraction. Since this position is very difficult to determine, plastic lenses are held in the frontal plane position where the back surface is parallel to the face of the patient with very minimal change with respect to prism bar. When quantifying a strabismus, if the strabismic deviation is large, then two prisms must not be stacked in the same direction as this is not additive and can lead to a large error in estimation of the deviation. Instead, the prism should be split between the two eyes. However, vertical prisms can be stacked with horizontal prisms in measuring combined vertical and horizontal deviations without loss of accuracy. Some people denote strabismus in terms of prism diopters and some people degrees. The two are not equivalent. For angles less than 45 degrees, each degree equals approximately two prism diopters. Prisms are available either as loose prisms in the trial set in the form of prism bars or as Fresnel prisms. Fresnel prisms are an alternative to conventional prisms for therapeutic use. When required in high powers, a regular prism is very heavy and thick. 
Since the power of a prism depends on its apical angle and not on its thickness, reducing the base apex dimension of a prism retains its prismatic power but grossly reduces its base thickness. A Fresnel prism consists of a series of small prisms on a thin membranous polyvinyl chloride sheet. It has the same deviating power as a conventional prism. So that's it for today. If you like what you saw, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update from AP's Ophthalmology Pearls. You may watch my other videos by clicking on the thumbnails. Please leave a note in the comment section if you wish for any particular topic to be covered in future. Look forward to regular updates. Thank you for watching.